Welcome back. City leaders across North America are going to great lengths to attract Amazon's new headquarters, submitting their final pitches ahead of tonight's deadline. Jeff Flock is in Chicago with the very latest on all of the extraordinary bids. Jeff, over to you. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I come to you, uh, Maria, this morning from the renovated lobby of what was once the world's largest post office building in Chicago, curiously enough, built for the Amazons of its day because of the mail order business of Montgomery Ward and Sears. You know, we've got a, a drone flying overhead, and it kind of shows you the enormity of this uh, the, the, this uh, potential site of the uh, Amazon HQ2, uh, massive building, 2.7 million square feet, and it's just what Amazon needs, a real big building. Of course, this is not alone in its pitch. If uh, we put up the map with little dots of all of the cities and towns that have made pitches and are making pitches today, we wouldn't be able to see the map, actually. That's just a, a small number of all the people out there. Uh, of course, the prize is huge. We're talking 50,000 potential jobs with average compensation of $100,000. Amazing. Uh, $5 billion in uh, potential uh, investment from Amazon. So it is a big prize, places like Chicago. Uh, Atlanta is mentioned as a, a, a key one as well. Boston. Of course, speculation is rampant, but who knows? Uh, here in Chicago, as we said, this building, uh, Maria, was built, as we said, back in the 30s for Amazons, for the Amazons, the, the Sears and the Montgomery Ward. So it would be fitting if Amazon was to choose this. It has all the things that Amazon wants, a metropolitan area, public transportation, the rest, close to a big uh, a population center. But of course, a lot of places have all of that. Yeah. It's true, and they all want, they all want that 50,000 jobs uh, that this new headquarters will bring. Don't. Jeff, thank you. We'll be watching Jeff Flock in Chicago.